Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man Snowball Beer Reviews. Today I have a beer from a new brewing company that I've not done a review for yet. Um, this is from Clan Brewing Company out of Glasgow, Scotland. Um, I don't know, there's just something weird about this that makes me think that it's like a, an, an AB InBev uh, brand. But I, I don't know that for sure. I tried to do some uh, research and I couldn't find anything about that. But, uh, this beer is called Red's Rye, or Red Rye Ale, which sounds like Red's Rye from uh, Founders. Um, but it is uh, an Imperial an Imperial Red Ale aged in Scotch barrels for six months. Um, so I'm really interested to see how this uh, how this is because, like I said, I don't know anything about this brewery. Um, Scotch barrel aged beers are usually very hit or miss, um, and just this a random like red ale base is kind of weird too. So I mean, if this has you know a little bit of a nice toastiness from the red ale and then some nice uh, peaty scotch notes. It could be really good. It might be disgusting. I have no idea. Um, and this is 8.0 ABV, so I'm going to crack this open and uh, see what we got here. And so it does say on the glass too, uh, beer may, uh, beer, beer may pour slightly hazy. So I, I thought this was, when I first poured it, it looked like it was going to be like muddy, but it's not that bad. It's, uh, just a, you know, cloudy red color, which is, I guess what I would expect. Um, with a fluffy white head. Wow. Um. So it doesn't really smell like uh, like peaty scotch, but it does smell. It definitely smells like uh, something whiskey barrel aged. I mean, this honestly smells like a barrel aged barley wine. I'm not gonna lie; it smells it smells pretty good. Um, I do get a little bit of hops underneath and. <clears throat> some like toasted grain but it's mostly all barrel which I'm not complaining about it's pretty good um, it's it's kind of one of those barrel aged beers that uh, that you would give to someone to say like if they didn't know what barrel aging did to a beer, this would be a good beer to give to them because there's really not much to this besides the barrel flavor, but it's not hot either, being at only 8%. It's not boozy, so it does have a lot of like oak and vanilla <coughs> character to it. Um, definitely some like caramelized caramelized malts I don't sometimes that's something you get from the barrel that could also be from the beer I'm really not sure this honestly kind of reminds me of a, like a baby version of uh, backwoods bastard from founders which is uh, is saying a lot I mean this it's not nearly as big of a beer um, it's not as complex but has a really nice caramel backbone to it, uh, a good amount of uh, barrel character, not as complex or definitely not as big. It doesn't have an alcohol burn to it, but it's definitely a similar beer and it's in the same vein. Um, and it, it is similar too because Dirty Bastard kind of has, I mean, it, from an SRM standpoint, it's kind of similar to this. Uh, so I didn't buy this. A friend got it for me. Um, I had never heard of it or anything before. I again going into this blind, I had no idea what to expect. But uh, I'll say this is a uh, a pleasant surprise. This is this is nice. Um, 
because I didn't buy it, I don't know what this costs. That's kind of the only... Excuse me. Um, that's kind of the only thing that would really... I would say drive my decision on saying buy, drink, or dump. If, if we're going to assume that this is reasonably priced, I would say under... In the single digits for this bottle... Um, preferably in the, the middle single digits, not like $9. Uh, I would give this a buy. You know, sometimes you want a beer has a nice barrel-aged character, but isn't super boozy, super sweet, isn't going to get you like pretty buzzed up from drinking one of them. And I think this would be a, a good version of that. And even though I said you don't get too much from the beer, it's not watery either. It actually has a pretty nice full body. It's just not a ton of flavor there's nice uh caramel malts but there's i don't i don't think the beer you can it seems like the beer was intentionally made that way just to to be kind of a a placeholder for the uh for the barrel yeah this this is this is good i'm pretty i don't want to say surprise because surprise makes me makes it sound like i thought this was going to be bad I just had no expectations, good or bad. So, I'm, I'm glad that it, it landed on the good side. That's all I'll say. I think that's all I got in this one. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.